Hey, what's up? And yes, that's right, we are going to play around with the Valve Index controllers. It's going to be an absolute blast, I can't wait. I hope you are going to join me on this epic adventure, because we are going to dive into the Aperture Hand Lab. And this is pretty much a VR experience that uh, demonstrates the power of interaction and presence you can have with Valve's Index controllers. Set in the Partal universe, you will be able to step into the role of an Aperture Science test robot that has to complete a bunch of simple hand tasks. That's about it, so let's put on our haptic suits and uh, jump right in. Let's do this. Robot detected. Welcome robot test subject to the Aperture Science Redacted. for the Classified. of Word Deleted. You will not be told the purpose of your test today. We will not be told why you are performing them. To preserve the integrity of this triple-blind study, no one involved will have any idea why anyone is doing anything. For the purpose of this classified exercise, your barbed meat stripping claws have been replaced with hands. Please raise your hands up to your neck-mounted weapons platform, which for the purpose of this exercise has been replaced with a face. There we go. Good. Please exit the elevator. Um, how about... Exit the elevator through the open elevator doors. No. <laughs> exit the elevator through the only available opening that you could possibly exit from. Had to do it. This opening has been conveniently placed directly in front of you. You can't force me. Just you saying. You have not moved forward, which is a necessary component of this exercise. Now starting backup exercise. What? Achieving excellence while standing in an elevator. Okay. Good. By standing in an elevator, you have completed achieving excellence while standing in an elevator. That was Please it? Let's move on to the next exercise. <laughs> achieving excellence by exiting the elevator. Very creative. Please exit the elevator. You won. You're not even still here, are you? The until you return from the bathroom. Good. You are now ready to begin the hand-assisted, non-verbal machine-human communication training. Please approach the training platform. Hmm. Please approach the platform. It's a trap. You have not approached the platform. It is in front of you. Please approach it. There are warning signs everywhere. You have failed to approach the platform. If you approach it now, you will succeed. It says danger panel. Do not worry. This platform was designed to be approached. Yeah, sure. Approach the platform. I'm afraid there is no other other way. We have no choice approach then. Approach the platform. To do this for science. Good. Deploying first exercise. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. Hello, I am Frank, a friendly human. I like you, so I am waving to you. To consummate this wave exchange, raise your hand, open it, then swing it gently from side to side. That is waving. It means you like me, like I like you, which I am demonstrating by waving. Well then. I am approachable because I will not attempt to kill you. Note, wave only. Do not attempt to approach me or I will kill you. Oh, oh, oh. Good. We are now bonded in eternal friendship. Ah! Good. Deploying next exercise. That wasn't so bad. Hey, I'm Alan, and here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna shake my fist, this fist, at you. And there's not a thing you're gonna do about it. Shake, 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 shake. You don't get to shake back. Hey. You just stand there and watch. Is that this is your world now? D buddy? Me <laughs> shaking this fist at you. Sorry, I, I totally missed your, your speech. Again, please? Shake, 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 shake. I won't lie to you. That felt good. Real good. The wind of my fist. You? You're never gonna know that feeling. Shake, 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 shake. What are you talking about? Sometimes I wish the entire world was just one big eyeball staring, staring at me, doing this, 
Chick, 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 chick. Interesting. You think this is some fun little game? It is yeah. not. This is as real as it gets. Chick, 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 chick. How real? There was somebody who stood right where you're standing, trying to shake a fist at me. You know what happened to him. You don't want to know. But I'm going to show you. Real. Slow. Shake. 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 You're, you're going to act tough now, huh? Do I look like I'm playing with you? Like some kind of birthday clown? Is it your birthday? Well, happy birthday. Why don't you make a wish? Wish for anything you like. Except for one thing. Don't you ever, ever wish that you could shake your fist at me? Shake, 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 I shake, just shake, did. Shake, shake. Oh, now you went and did it, didn't you? Gotcha. <laughs> when you think you got the answers, I change the questions. Double shake, double shake, double shake, double shake. Double shake? No. Shake, 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 shake. Sometimes my knuckles get hot. Need the breeze to cool them down. Double shake, double shake, double shake. I double feel shake. you. I feel you. You don't bring a knife to a gunfight. And you don't bring one arm to a two armed shake off. Double shake, double shake, double shake, double shake. Double trouble. You. No, not you. I was talking to your hands. My hands? The only ones in this room that have any sense. Not shaking back. They know what'll happen. Cruising for a bruise. Double shake, double shake, double shake, double shake. <laughs> Eight finger, two thumbs. All you have to do is squeeze and swing back and forth. How can something so easy cause so much suffering? Double shake, double shake, double shake. Watch double shake. me go. Good. Deploying next exercise. Ah, he's back. Hello, it is me again, Friendly Frank, who you murdered after I only wanted to be your friend. Sorry. I clawed my way out of that pit of despair with a singular purpose, to come face to face with you once more and finally exact more friendship. Now, give me five. Good. Now, a five. Good. Now for the third in our four series high five panel. Down low. Oh, well, that's a different story. Down low. That's that's a dangerous one, my friend. I'm going to make this quick. Whoop! Oh! Too slow. I knew it! <laughs> I have deceived you. Did you really think friendly Frank survived that fall? He's dead. You killed him. No, I am deceptive David. Or is it Kevin? It's not. Or is it? I propose a game of deceit. It is a game as old as hands. A gripping trial of handly cunning called rock, paper, scissors. Are you ready to be deceived? No? Good. On three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Ha! My nemesis, we meet again. You win. Let's go again. Best two out of three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. Uh -huh. Rock, I win. Ready? One, two, three. Paper and paper. It seems fate has deceived us both. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Paper, I mean rock. Yes. Oh. I definitely mean rock. I win. Nobody recorded that. Did you? Today. Did you just? No? Good. I won. Fair and square. <laughs> Douchebag. Deploying next exercise. He cheated on me. Been hearing a lot of good things about your hands back at my the hands? office. VP of sales, Ted Baker, said, Bill, you gotta fly down there and you gotta see these hands. And I said, Ted, you're lying and you're fired. But then I thought, if Ted was willing to get fired over these hands, maybe I better check them out for myself. So here I am. Let's see him, hotshot. Hold him up. Those are impressive. Gotta shake that hand. Put her there. New vice president in charge of hands. That's right. You heard me correctly. Thank you so much. I've seen two, maybe three, pairs of hands like that in my life. I need to shake those hands. 
<laughs> Grip it and shake it. Yep. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Shake. Business hand shake. This is and shaking business hand. So shake. Mm -hmm. freaking mm. satisfying. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm, and... Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. That right there, that was great. If I ask you to gently caress my hand, how about this time you give me a real handshake? A nice, firm, strong handshake. Really squeeze it. I can take it. You sure you are ready for this? Give me a handshake I can believe it. Okay, I warned you. <laughs> Harder. I'm serious. A lot harder. Squeeze this hand. I'm gonna be blunt. Borderline insensitive. That's a medium strength grip. And now, I'm only telling you that because I know you've got more gas in the tank. Come on, senior vice president. Let me feel that grip. Should I step it up? I feel something. Like I'm wearing a slightly tight oven mitt. So I'm gonna <laughs> need you to really squeeze hard. Oh, do you hear that? Oh! Whoops! I'm so sorry! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, that was a... That was a rough landing! <laughs> Instead, you threw me away into a bottomless pit. And at the bottom of that pit, among these discarded robots, I found something even better than your friendship. This oh. done. Now you have no choice but Whoa. to be my friend. And as your friend, I want to ask you one last friendly favor. Free me, or I will shoot you. Do you think Frank is bluffing? Ah! That was merely a demonstration. Do not make me demonstrate again, because now Frank has some sense of how this gun works, and the next time I will not accidentally miss you. Now, pull open the drawer to your right and remove the envelope inside. Take it easy. Frank intends to get busy living, or get busy shooting you with this gun. I wish you could come with me, but there is no room on this harness for me, and you, and this gun. One of us will have to stay behind. Please, have mercy on my soul. Here is the emergency. I am pointing a gun at you. Friendly Frank is getting out of here. I'm still so young. Open the drawer. Okay, okay. Open the drawer. Good. Now reach into the drawer and grab the envelope. No funny stuff now. Good. Now tear the envelope open. You cannot reveal the envelope's contents until you have torn it open. This is just how envelopes work. My hands are tied. If you happen to be a member of the press who is also in charge of your website's best game of the year list, what? remember this unforgettably tense and heartbreaking envelope tearing scene. Your friend, award-winning Frank. Inside the envelope is a very, very, almost absurdly large key. Oh. Do not let its comical appearance deceive you. Its purpose is deadly serious. I see. Good. Now free me, or so help me, I will. I. Oh, who is friendly Frank kidding? No more guns. I am asking you, as a friend, please free me. Oh. Friendly Frank. Your friend. Your way. Your way is gone. In the hole labeled Core Escape to complete Core Escape sequence. Or place the key in the hole labeled Destroy Core. To destroy the core. Friendly Frank was unaware that core destruction was an option and is beginning to regret holding you at gunpoint. Also throwing away my gun. Hmm. Yes. Place the key in the hole labeled Core Escape to complete Core Escape sequence. Or place the key in the hole labeled Destroy Core to take the moral high ground and destroy the core. 
who has probably committed other crimes. So your conscience is clean. Friendly Frank wants to reiterate how sorry he is for holding you at gunpoint earlier. My only crime was wanting freedom and aggravated menacing with a firearm. Fair enough. So... Key turning hesitation detected. In the event that a core is pleading with you not to kill me... Please don't kill me. Please remember that this core is attempting to walk out with expensive office equipment that does not belong to him. Also, since you are his best friend, by law you will be held responsible for his actions and tried in his place. And then hang. Okay. Now okay. that Friendly Frank thinks about it, just possessing a gun is probably a parole violation for other crimes I may or may not have committed long before I met you and we became friends. Society gave Frank a second chance. Maybe you could too. Just Aww. putting that out there. Oh, that's so sad. Well, please place the key in the core destruction keyhole. Eeny, I should eeny. never have held a gun on you. Friendly Frank would not shoot a fly. Unless that fly approached him without his consent, again, do not approach me! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Please place the key in the core destruction keyhole. This is the correct keyhole. Congratulations! You survived! Ha! Good. And now we can tell you the purpose of this triple blind test. Oh, good. Discovering the value of friendship. You have got to be kidding me. That's, uh -huh. That is not even science. And by Beautiful. choosing friendship over the very real possibility of going to prison, oh, you no. have passed. Oh good, we passed. Test concluded. Deactivating test arena. <laughs> Placing all robot participants in sleep mode. Thank you for your participation. Goodbye. That was totally worth it. <laughs> So, are you in sleep mode? No. Friendly Frank is not. How long do robots live? I suspect it might be a very long time. Hmm. I think this is going to be a real test of our friendship. What an ending. <laughs> and that's it. That was the Aperture Hand Lab experience. Now it's time to talk about my first impressions about these babies. Enjoy! Okay, take a seat and listen up because there is a lot we gotta talk about. First of all, uh, I would like to say that the finger tracking on these controllers is awesome, especially in this demo since it shows the magic of hand presence you can have in virtual reality. And the way you interact with the course throughout this experience has been well done. I think as long as the developer writes the finger tracking onto its blueprint and makes it a part of the gameplay and story, I can definitely see this taking off. The Aperture Hand Lab is giving so many examples of what you can do with these controllers and it's up to the studios to use this in their favor. What I was also very impressed by is how accurate the fingers move in VR from one gesture to the other. There are these smooth transitions that make things seem even more realistic and that's fantastic. Talking about accuracy, there are so many levels of adding farce to what you do. I could squeeze my index controllers lightly, firmly, strongly, etc. and still get a different reaction and effect every time I did it. If you kept an eye on the blue indicator around my wrists, you could clearly see how many gradations there are. Uh, this was the same story for the haptics. When I shook the hand of that one core, the controller started to vibrate in a way I could feel its presence. It's super impressive. Besides teleporting, I uh, didn't use the thumbsticks that much, but something that I discovered that I thought was concerning and that I should share is that when you want to push the thumbsticks, they only do this in a certain direction. For example, my left uh, controller's uh, thumbstick only wants to click in the middle, left and right, but not on the top or the bottom. Maybe this is a production fault, who knows, but I would love to hear from Valve what they have to say about this. Next to this issue, I sadly also have to report that my right controller's trigger already starts to squeak. And that just sucks. The overall comfort of the index controllers is top-notch. And 
it's very pleasant to, to wear them. And I think in the long run, it will be hard for me to go back to other controllers. As long as the finger tracking is getting used to its full potential, of course. So those are my first impressions. I'm the most worried about the build quality. I have no idea how long these controllers are going to last if they already start to squeak after being out of the box for, uh, for two days. We'll see, time will tell. If you have any questions about the Valve Index controllers or the headset or this, this experience, feel free to uh, uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, slam a like on this video. That would be nice, that would be highly appreciated. Before I go, huge shout out to Cloud at Games. You, uh, you fellas nailed it. This, uh, this title is so much fun. I played it like three, four times, I couldn't stop. It's a, it's a great demo to show to people when they are coming by. If they want to try the Valve Index, then this is a must experience. And you can definitely see how much passion and work went into this project. So, heads off to you. Now it's time for me to uh, sign off and as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaverse. And before I forget, this, uh, this experience, this Aperture Hand Lab uh, demo is free. So I will make sure there is a link in the description below. Enjoy.